What's going on everybody? It's the Alpha Wolf. I want to clear some shit up real fast about intensity and what the real version of intensity is. So I saw a video the other day, right? The guy is saying this. Now let me say this. Dudes who want steroids, the extent of your advice for somebody to lift weights should be lift weights. All you should be telling someone is to go to the gym and work out. All right. If you want to give in-depth information on how you do this and you do that, you should be also saying at the end of that shit, yo, or at the beginning, say, yo, I'm on steroids, and this is how I get down. This is what I do, because I got the fucking enhancement. Don't just give all this advice, this is how you do it, this is how you build muscle, you flex your big ass vascular arm, and you're on some shit. And then you tell people, you know, a rookie, because you down, uh, that shit don't fly with me. I'm already know the, I know the game. You know what I'm saying? You tell a rookie, yo, do what I'm doing. Do the, you know, follow my advice. And you're going to get buff. That shit don't work, man. So, in the video I saw, the dude is saying intensity. The best way to get an intense workout is to, one, increase the weight. Increase the weight. Two, increase the reps. Three, decrease the amount of time it takes for you to do the set. And four, decrease the amount of time in between your sets. So I'm sitting there thinking, all right, let me go in there and test this out. All right, even though I already know in my head, I say I want to make sure before I make my response video to, you know, make sure I got my, you know, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So I go in, day one, all right, bench press, 225 on the bar. First set, after my warm-up, 10 reps. I rest the usual, two and a half to three minutes between the sets. Went back in, 12 reps on the second set. 225 on the bench press. Another three minutes, 10 reps, all right? So I'm still up there. 10, 12, that's close. That's up there, right? I continued that all the way until I hit about, what, eight sets? Eighth set, I think I finished at about eight reps. I think seven or eight reps. You know, over time, eventually, you start to lose it. You lose the energy. You lose that, you know, that power, and you start to go down. But that's over time. Look at the amount of work. I did eight sets with very high reps with the heavier weight but I had a good rest in between each set now the, time, the amount of time it takes to do a set that's, that don't really matter you know unless you're sitting there with a dumbbell and you're like curling one and then you sit there and hold it and count you know wait like fucking eight seconds and then you do your second rep nobody does that shit so the amount of time it takes to do the actual set itself that doesn't even come into play let me say that right now so the next day, I go in using this guy's method, his um, idea on intensity. So, 225 on the bar. First set, 10 reps. I'm like, okay, it's just like the other day. But I got my timer on my phone. I rested a minute and 30 seconds in between sets. Once that timer beeped, I laid my ass back down. This is intensity. He's saying decrease the amount of time in between your sets. Lay it back down on the bench. Went to hit it, man, seven reps. I'm like, okay, all right. It feels intense because, you know, you're like, oh, you're tired, you're thrashing, it's heavy, it's hard as fuck to do it. So you mistake that for intensity because, oh, man, I'm just I'm working hella harder now. No, but I didn't get as much work. The night before, I got 12. The second night, I get seven. So you think about that. Seven and 12. It's numbers, man. Numbers don't fucking lie. All right? Third set. Rested a minute and a half, minute and a half, hit that shit, six reps. Fourth set, went in, five reps. Fifth set, I barely hit the fifth rep, all right? I got to the sixth, hit it five again, all right? Each set in between a minute and 30 seconds. So I'm looking at day one, I'm hitting tens and twelves, all right? Hit eight sets. I got to my sixth set doing that uh, so-called you know, intense workout, like I said, five, well, what, ten, drop down to seven, six, five, five, five. And after the six set, I was tired as fuck. I'm like, you know, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I don't got no energy left. And usually when I, when I work out, you see me throw in some heavy shit, and then I'll drop to 225, and then I'll go back and put like 245 on. I do crazy shit because I'm getting the rest, and I'm getting the volume, and I'm fucking the muscle up. You know, I do some crazy shit on the bench press. And last night, I'm thinking, damn, I can't even put, you know, I want to like, you know, like another session 
After I did hella sets of 225, I put 260 on the rep on the bar, hit a few reps of that. I had the energy for it, right? Because I'm pacing myself. That's intensity right there. I don't understand how people can get on here and say, yo, do this and do that and do that. And you don't need volume. Like he, he actually said, you don't need volume. Decrease the amount of volume you do. How does that work? It's like you pretty much going in doing a pussy ass workout. You're not resting. You're huffing and puffing out of breath because you don't got the energy to finish your fucking set. That, I mean, that, that's amazing to me, man, how people can go on and give out crazy ass information. All right. What I want to say is this. Intensity is not about going in the gym, not resting enough between sets, feeling tired as hell to that you can't even do the next set. And then you're sitting back and you're like, oh, man, you know, like you're working out with somebody. And you're like, dude, this dude's kicking my ass in here, man. I love working out with these guys, man. No, that's not a fucking real workout. All you're doing is going in there, thrashing yourself first set, resting up for about a minute, and then attempting to do it again, but you don't have the fucking energy. So to all the rookies out there, now when I say rookies, it's not in a disrespectful term. It's just like, yo, rookies meaning you have no experience. Fuck was that? You know, you're new to the game. So when I say, yo, rookies, I'm not coming at you to, oh, you stupid, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know what you're doing, you're just a rookie. So when I say, hey, rookie, check this out. It's like, hey, bruh, you know. <laughs> so, rookies out there, you know, you know you're a rookie, man. Take it. Embrace it. I was a fucking rookie. I'm still a rookie. I'm not a rookie, but I'm still a rookie. There's dudes out there who actually give good advice that I would love to go and work out with and learn some more fucking knowledge. And that's what it's all about. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I know everything. But from the experience I have, from the time I've been in the gym, that's how you learn experience. Those dudes that you go and you learn shit from, those guru type dudes who sit there and spit that knowledge at you, them dudes learn that shit from lifting weights. From years of lifting weights. That knowledge they got, that's experience, man. So, you know, and make sure you getting it from an experienced dude that was like, you know what? I don't want to inject all this bullshit into my muscles to get buff. I just want to go in, live a healthy life, get buff as fuck, be a power lifter, be a bodybuilder, do whatever. But I just don't feel the need to inject my body with bullshit to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't need that shit. All you need is time. So my version of a proper intense workout is this. Fuck. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I got fucked up lighting in here, so yeah, I gotta use the laptop light and the light in the corner so you can see my fucking face. My version of an intense workout is this. Going to the gym. Properly rest between your sets. So therefore, each set you do you can get the most out of it. You go into the gym, you rest a minute, you get back on the weight, you're not doing shit. You're sitting there, you're tired as fuck, and they're like, oh, that's intense, bro, that's intense. That ain't intense, because I'm sitting over there next to you, getting it in. You know what I'm saying? That's intense. You go in there, you do your little 15, 20 minute bench press session, you, you fuck around and go around the whole gym, do a whole upper body workout, pack up, get ready to go, you walk past me, I'm still sitting there hitting sets, man. That's intense. You know what I'm saying? You got to have days like that. You got to have your days where you go in, do 100 reps on some shit. No matter if it's curls, shoulders, the fuck? Um, anything, it don't matter. How the fuck is there a fly in here in this wintertime, man? That's crazy. But anyway, yeah. Get in there, properly rest, work your muscle. You need the volume. You do got to lift heavy weights. But then, like I said in other videos, you got to switch it up. You give your body some of this, you give it some of that. That's how you get your gains, all right? All right, now let me end the video by saying this. The only scenario in the gym that that dude's workout makes any sense is, even with a slight variation, is this. If you're cutting, because when you cut, you lose strength, you're losing fat, you lose some muscle, all right? You want to keep your heart rate up. It's like getting on the treadmill. You're in a fat burning mode. Do a high intensity workout, meaning lighter weights, higher rep scheme, in the upward of 15 to 25 reps per set. Small rest time in between those. You're keeping your body in a fat burning zone, all right? Because you're not resting. Now, if you're trying to, let's say this, you're trying to cut, 
and you're doing the higher reps in the upwards of 20 to 25 and you rest like I do two and three minutes between you're you giving your body time for your heart rate to go down which you don't need you need your heart rate to be up so that's the only time a workout like that is gonna work for you and it's not it's not for building muscle it's more for preserving the muscle because we already know when you cut you lose things alright and that's when you up your protein if you're cutting up your protein make sure your pro I my protein is high when I'm cutting or bulking alright make sure you're getting your protein when you're cutting that way you preserve muscle it is hard as hell to build muscle naturally when you're cutting alright so that's another tip out there in this video you need to know so you know when you're cutting that's the best time for that workout that he was describing to even work for you and even then with a variation lower the weight hit a higher rep scheme you know get a lot of work in put that body in a fat burning mode but that's it for this video you guys um, hope I clear some things up for you I will continue to make videos like this the channel is still fairly new um, one day it won't be so new and you're gonna see this video and it's gonna have some views on it but like I said I want to give you guys straight up information um, from a dude everyday dude just like you natural not taking shit going in the gym like I say when I watch a video man and I see a dude show up and he's hella swole and he's fucking vascular and he's just like there's some dudes who are you know natural who are buff you know what I'm saying so not every dude that you see like a lot of haters out there and trolls you see a dude with some muscle and then you say oh he's on gear he's on this not every dude you see is on steroids you gotta go by the shit they tell you if they're telling you some off the wall shit you know what I'm saying and like the rookies don't even understand that shit's off the wall you know that's why you need to watch this shit I'm telling you and if you got a guy telling you shit like that then you know that okay he's on some shit okay, that's just physically out of the realm of a person who's natural learn alright watch videos learn I don't I don't get any advice if I see a dude like I said if I see a dude that's on some shit that looks like he's on something I don't even take advice from him you know I don't get motivated by that because that's not what I'm doing that's like me working on a Mustang engine but I'm looking at motorcycle videos on how to fix engines that shit don't work for me so be smart get out there get good information and you know be aware of what you're learning and who you're learning it from but with that said get to the gym do work and muscle up